To suggest that there are two sides to this story is utterly perverse. To suggest that Israel is simply defending itself is an obscenity and shame on anyone, on any so-called world leader, wherever they are, if they repeat such an obscenity. The truth is that the international community has seen what has happened to the Palestinian people in full sight and in full view, and they have stepped back and allowed this to happen. So to the UN Security Council, to the entire apparatus of the international community, let me say this, that we see you. Your people and your population see you. And whereas the great and the good of the international community may find it acceptable to step back and make an argument of the one hand this and on the other hand that, and meanwhile Palestinian refugee children die, make no mistake that that is not an acceptable position to the people of the world. I feel confident that global citizens are appalled and repulsed and enraged, quite frankly, that here we are again and Palestine suffers. So yes, we need a cessation and that needs to happen immediately. And yes, we need a full-scale humanitarian effort but above all else, let's be clear, we need justice. We need the rule of law to prevail. We need Palestinian self-determination. We need the state of Israel to be finally called out for what it is, a racist apartheid regime. And we in Ireland, perhaps more than any other people, have a special obligation to act on all of this because we know the colonial experience, the experience of dispossession and division. We know what it is to be left destitute. So we have no excuse not to act. So Minister Coveney and your government, when will we recognise the state of Palestine? That has been agreed in this parliament years ago. When will we see the occupied territory, territories legislation advanced? And when will we finally insist loudly, clearly and consistently that the law be respected and that Palestinian lives matter?